Hey everybody, um, so it's kind of like an urgent ping ping as I got before starting my day today. Um, it's really about the volcanoes, the volcanisms as uh, some of us would call it. Those who study Dramatria, uh, you probably are seeing in the codes that it's saying more volcanisms more volcanoes um, I have an explanation for all of that <clears throat> so basically uh, in biblical texts um, it talks about the three days of darkness and how it plays a role in the physical consciousness a lot of people think that it's Planet X Nibiru that's going, like, let's say my light in my car. They think this sucker is so big that it's going to go and cast a shadow for three days. But there is no orbital uh, timing that would last that long. So how else could there be a darkness for three days without a sign of light? It would probably be a volcano several volcanoes and the ash clouds from the eruptions so with that said um i want you guys to look at something and it has to do with awakening as well <laughs> there's a lot happening at one time so basically if you guys look here i have my tablet cleansing of sin this will be in Zechariah 13 um, I guess you guys can read it for yourselves but what I what I appreciate about it it says um, that basically all the impurities will be purified from uh, from in our basically what's happening in our reality on that day I will banish the names of the idols from the land and they will be remembered no more declares the Lord Almighty I will remove both prophets and spirit of impurity from the land and if anyone still prophesies sorry I have to change my brightness um, if anyone still prophesies their father and mother to whom they were born will say to them you must die because you have told lies in the Lord's name and blah 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 what this means is that everyone who's been following the Old Testament has been preaching from Old Testament you have been preaching lies and you probably didn't know that <laughs> there's my confirmation affirmation and so basically <laughs> and so basically it's about trying to relearn your spiritual path by faith because the, in biblical scripture the Jews and Gentiles were divided one was supposed to see signs one was supposed to feel so by faith and by sight were they divided people don't get this and I'm not a preacher I'm not wanting to take all the biblical scriptures and try to decipher what I think but because I'm led by spirit I know this is the truth um, check this one out too <laughs> there goes that alarm again on that day, every prophet will be ashamed of their prophetic visions. Uh, they will not put on prophets' garments on hair in order to deceive. What that means basically is like people feel like, oh, I have to have this gift in order to uh, tell my vision. Basically, people who um, are ashamed that they don't know how to use their gift of prophecy they won't speak of it uh, I even met someone last week who basically was going to hurt himself because nobody would believe him they thought he was crazy
they thought, oh, well, he thought, what use am I if I can't share or, or, you know, validate what I'm going through is true. So let's check out this last part. Um, By sword here, it means the word, the true word. Uh, So it says, awake, sword against my shepherd. Against the man, sorry, there's a car driving behind me. Who's? I'm in a carport, and every car goes by, I start rambling. Um, against the man who is close to me, declares the Lord Almighty. So just make you make certain that you guys know the Lord Almighty is not our Father and is not Christ. Lord Almighty is the the Lord of this world. The one who commands these interesting things in our world who are celebrities and singers worship in their music that's how they instate their fame uh strike the shepherd and the sheep who will be scattered and i will run my hand against the little ones in whole land that should say holy in the whole land declares the lord See how there's the Lord and the Almighty, the Lord Almighty. There's two here that's going on. Uh, every time I see the Lord, comma, I always think this is Christ consciousness, the Holy Spirit. Then when you see Lord Almighty, this is the one of the land. So there's two here. Um, two thirds will be struck down and perish. Yet. Yeah, one third will be left in it. This third I will put into the fire. There's where you get your confirmation that this is volcanic. I will refrain from, oh, I'm sorry, I will refine them like silver and test them like gold. Come on now. I have to hide my, there we go. So basically, uh, to continue finishing this off, it says, uh, they will call on my name and I will answer them. I will say they are my people. And they will say, the Lord is our God. So, there will be a great crying out and confusion and whatnot. And people will be calling on God and not the Father. And it's really important that if you guys are awake enough, you will know that you call on the Divine Mother and Father. Uh, or the divine uh, Holy Spirit, the divine creator. Um, it, it's important to know, I don't even know why we say Father, but we have to associate creator with Father. And we have to associate divine mother with our physical consciousness of being on earth right now, Mother Gaia. I used to never think this way, but there's some truth to it. I see it on a daily basis. Um, I wanted you guys to also check out some, even if you're not in a religious perspective, I still want you guys to understand that all of this plays a role. You see that in Genesis, it talks about three day journey of Jacob, Exodus, um, it here please let us go uh, a three days journey uh, um, everything in here uh, even in Exodus we must go a three days journey into wilderness Jonah you know the guy who was swallowed by the big ass fish <laughs> he was in the belly for three days so anytime there's a three-day uh, metaphor in the Bible, whether you believe the story or not, three days is a covenant. So when you start a covenant and you complete it, there's a three-day uh, lockdown, if you may. It's about what you tap into, what you hone in what you put in your reality that moment of three days and that's how you build your way out so let's say if the world were at stake because every volcano had erupted what are you going to do are you going to panic and fear and that's what's going to be in your reality when you come out of it 
Or are you going to tap into the event and know you're going to be rescued? <laughs> or you're going to stay in your own home and everything would just be fine in three days and go away? It depends how you paint yourself out of your situation. So it's very important that you guys are aware of this. Um, in Exodus, uh, this talks about the Exodus back then. Uh, they did not see one another, nor did anyone rise from his place for three days. So this is about staying in one spot and accessing your light within. This is a true test of your faith and your journey and your destiny. So if you guys can see all these different scriptures in the Bible that talks about these three-day tests, if you may. First King, he said to them, depart for three days, and then return to me. So this means a lot of times we probably be separated from our own reality because there's some commotion. <laughs> My lights went off. <laughs> There's some commotion going on for three days and you have to <laughs> you have to center yourself back to uh, your journey. All right, so blackout. You guys are getting all this stuff that's happening while I'm pushing record, right? <laughs> this is fun. All right, so during these three days, you guys just have to make sure that A, you do not panic. B, realize um, what's going on and be okay with it. Um, I just want my lights on. There we go. Um, this will be a great challenge for you guys to manifest and connect with each other. And it's very important that I want to uh, shout out to PJ. Uh, he's a great friend, a new great friend of mine. And we've been talking about how can we all make this connection with each other and establish it now. Uh, Kamala too, thank you so much for being my follower and always contributing your efforts. Um, us staying connected and in tune with each other we can actually start communicating with each other subconsciously um, once we establish that love for each other um, and once we have this shutdown of our power grid if that were to be a possible reality we have to figure out how to do these ancient mystery practices and ancient mystery conversations we actually have to tap into the crazy and talk to each other <laughs> with a pen and paper and our telepathic capabilities. I think it's going to be pretty cool because this is going to be our method of survival for three freaking days. Can you guys imagine what's going to happen to everybody who are blind to these mysteries and blind to the self and blind to spirit? I cannot make that up. And it stops as soon as I start talking. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you guys who are tuned in to me really know that uh, my life is not normal. I get these epiphanies and experiences a lot. But it's beautiful to share them. And it's beautiful to know that there are other people experiencing this. And they're like, you know, Aaron, I'm right with you. Um, yeah, so if things pop off, it will probably be Friday the 20th because Venus is entering. It's the last planet to enter. Let's say if this is uh, the solar. Let's say here's the solar system. Here is the sun. My nose is the sun. Right? Every planet right now is on the right side. Except for your, yeah, here's my right side. But every planet is on one side except for Venus. Venus is yet to cross over. It's funny because love is the last extension before this whole thing is going to pop off. Which is cool. And it's, it's, it's beautiful to watch. Other people are looking at it as 
oh my god, there's gonna be cataclysms galore. But we have to we have to deal with it. And the earth changes are gonna be great. <sighs> Excuse me. Um that was weird. The earth changes are gonna be interesting. You're gonna see new oceans being built. You're gonna see a new earth actually developing this will be the 5d earth actually now physically making its way onto our three-dimensional earth plane uh, we're going to be seeing different colors in the sky we're going to be seeing a lot of beautiful stuff but if you are focused more on that crazy fearful this is why i think a lot of things out there like to brainwash people into thinking and believing fear and racism and and harassment when you get caught up in all that stuff unfortunately that's just what's going to happen and there's a scripture i didn't uh pop that on but there's a scripture that did talk about the harsh harshness of what will happen and it does talk about uh breaking ends and it talked about rape and it talked about robbery and, and those are going to happen and I blame the news and media because it, they kept flushing so many messages out to people that people don't understand that when you have waves hitting the brain and you have Wi-Fi, all these different things, they really do have a certain vib vibratory tone of the brain that tells your cognition something. And when you're shown words and you know what those words mean, unfortunately, your behavior adapts and applies those words to your behavior once those pulses stop. Um, I think that's what has been trying to channel me and tell me, Aaron, this is something that you need to speak on because... Um, a lot of us who are vibrating on a higher level, we can feel the pulses at night. We feel them. It's weird. It's like a certain time of night where you feel like you're shaking or you feel like the ground is vibrating, but you don't know what it is. Or someone might have an air conditioner on next door to you, a window air conditioner, and your body is vibrating to it. That means that there's a heavy amount of um, pulses that are hitting us. That's not the earth. It's not the Schumann resonance. It, it's, I don't like to speak on that territory because that's not my territory of YouTube. But, um, and it could be the 5D towers, 5G towers, I'm sorry. I don't know. I, 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 I'm yet to figure out what all this stuff is doing to us. I think we'll all know, but once like, once we see the mass amount of, of volcanoes and then we see the volcano uh, clouds cover the sun and cover our atmosphere, it will be pretty dark and for three days. Now, if you guys didn't know this, um, I was just Googling this a long time ago. But do you know that three days in a black hole is equivalent to seven years? So I think the tribulation period will not be seven years and all that, all that jazz. People don't really look into uh, in, uh, a deeper truth to a lot of things. They think literally seven years, seven years to someone who existed here, who saw a prophecy 2,000 years ago to 3,000, 4,000 years ago. Um, their interpretation of seven years is not our interpretation of seven years. So a black hole would only signify a transition period of three days, which will be equivalent of a seven year evolution. So I'm yet to figure that part out. But I think the tribulation period could be within the three days of this darkness. It, it all has to smack dab, bam, at one time. It can't be one and then the other and then the other. Because if the scripture I showed earlier is telling you that these people, these idols will be fleeing and running and will be ripped from their roles and they're going to go into hiding, it will all have to happen at one time. 
that there will have to be tribulation, there will have to be a bride, there will have to be a catching away, there has to be something that all has to happen at one time, but in a non-supernatural way, how could that happen? So be mindful, be, be very safe in the next seven days from now. <laughs> And uh, like I was saying before, water is how you ground yourself and water is how you purify your body. So uh, if you need to get a couple things of extra water, just store them away for now. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to put fear out there. I don't fear. I would love to get out of this matrix. Scotty, beam me up now. I'm ready. <laughs> But a lot of us have to be here. We're intended to be here. And that's going to be my next video. And it's kind of like, you know, someone brought up the stupid conversation on Facebook yesterday about homosexuality and sin and how gays are going to hell. And it's like, but if we were planned and intended and created and engineered to be here and we're in the blueprint of the Father... There's no way we're going to hell. Like, that's just stupid. But there was an intention on putting us here a certain way because it's how we get ourselves back to um, back to our authentic, ancient selves. Uh, our journey has to do... Our journey has to plant a seed somewhere and our Christ consciousness has to spread. It, <laughs> um yes uh there's a video out there called the body of christ is being uh uh the body of christ is being oh geez i'm blinking out it's being built right now it's by global witness and i keep shouting him out because he's so on it he's like me but on a, a whole nother a whole nother case <laughs> um I know his journey is authentic and he's seen a lot, he's witnessed a lot, and so have I. And I think we have been put in these different corners so that way when you have this circumference of different, I even, I don't like saying awaken people, but just people who see things on a global basis, uh, we know how to hone in on the messages and we know how to guide people. And that's all we can do is say, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. And that's all we can do. So I love you all very much. Thank you for all your input. Sorry, I just had a workout, left the gym. I look a mess. Um, but I had to get this message out. It was it was pinging me. Um, so yes, stay tuned for more. Talk to you later. Bye.